So as you can see behind me, I use a mannequin for suits. It's the only kind of clothing that I will use the mannequin for. Nicer sport coats, blazers, and suits. Otherwise, I just hang it on the wall. This is a Hugo Boss suit. It's a two-piece. The jacket goes on the mannequin. The mannequin just has a white shirt on it. I don't do a tie. It's a non-iron shirt. It's mizzen and mane, so I don't have to worry about wrinkles so much. Plus, this is the only part that's really visible. Because this jacket roughly actually fits the mannequin, I am going to button the top button and then leave the bottom one unbuttoned. If this jacket was a bigger size and it didn't fit neatly on this mannequin, I would do this. I just put the button side over that side. It looks a lot better than buttoning it and having all this material billow out and look weird. This also looks weird. It looks less weird and more slimming. The pants are tricky. A lot of people drape over a shoulder like this. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look as good as the way that I've figured out to do it with this mannequin. And you do need a wall hanger behind you to do it. So that's the basic presentation. I'll put this forward slightly at an angle so that the pants are visible right behind it. You can get all of it in a one by one aspect ratio photo. And that'll be the thumbnail. So I'm shooting on manual mode on the phone. Black is really tough to get right. So I'm going to bump this uh, aperture speed, I forget the terminology for it. Normally I would be 1 over 45, but the black, it just gets too dark. Then I'll take one of these and bump it up to 120. I'm going to actually hold my breath to keep the camera still here. And I'll always check to see if these are surgeon's cuffs. So the buttons on the sleeves, for most suits, they're just going to be static. They're ornamental. So you can't actually open them. If you can open them, I will open all of them up and then take that photo as well. Sometimes I'll take the photo of the lapels. I don't think that one's super necessary. And then I'll do the back. And this back often does not look very flattering. It's hard to get this right. Also, it usually extends farther down in the shot. So it can be tough if you look. I'm trying not to get the bottom of this uh, photo backdrop. Your setup is probably going to be different than this, so you may not have a problem. And you may have a taller mannequin than I have. I got this one from a friend for free, so I'm just using what I have. The reason I'm turning this inside out is that when you hang it on the mannequin like this, it shows the lining and it also makes it easier to take photos of the appropriate labels. And this doesn't have to look pretty, you're just showing off the actual lining. And then this label right here. So I'm going to take that. This union sticker or tag, I usually don't bother taking a photograph of. Just because you only have 12 photos for eBay and it's really easy to go over that if you're photographing suits and getting every little detail. I will take a photo of this brand tag. <clears throat> and as you can see here, I can get the Super 100s tag as well as this material and size tag in the same photo. And that doesn't have the material on it. So I'm going to take one more here. I just take two photos of the pants, front and back, unless there are flaws, which there are. Front. Make sure these buttons are buttoned, if there are buttons to button. Back. 
And then there's a flaw here. So we'll take that photo as well. That is really a drag. Okay, so when you're listing on Poshmark, you can have, I think, up to like 18, 20 photos or something. So you don't have to be as conscious as when you're listing on eBay. But I'm gonna have to pick and choose and make cuts for what goes in the eBay listing, what doesn't. Same process if you wanna just do a nicer sport coat or suit jacket or blazer on the mannequin. Everything that I just showed you, except you don't have to do the pants behind it. And you can get more small detail photos in there than when you're needing to be super economical with your photo budget for the suits. So that's basically my process. There's a million ways to do this. Some people are just superb at it. Uh, it'll look better than this. This is good enough for me.